Councilman O'Farrell, Habangahumaga, Habangahumaga. Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, guests, Mabuhai. <laughs> I stand here today with Philippines Consulate General Leo M. Herrera Lim and President of the Los Angeles Filipino Association of City Employees, otherwise known as LaFace, Linda Granados, and all of these lovely, beautiful, talented, intelligent women from the Binning Filipinas USA, Miss Filipinas USA, in the front row right here. And before I continue, I just want to give a real shout out to um, a, a critical, wonderful member of my staff who helped organize this day, and that is Angelo, Angelo Yanko. Angelo? There he is. He's right back there. A real hero to the community. Uh, this month, the month of June 2014, the Philippine Nation will commemorate the 116th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence from Spain that occurred on June 12, 1898, which led to the establishment of the first constitutional republic in Asia. I'm particularly proud to be here today as the representative of historic Filipino town, a neighborhood that has been home to Filipinos in high concentrations since the 1940s and served as a gateway for many Filipino immigrants in Los Angeles for the past several decades. The city of Los Angeles is home to the largest number of Filipinos living outside the Philippines anywhere else in the world. And as anyone who has ever traveled through the 13th District can attest to, they have enriched our communities everywhere they live and work. Since the Filipinos' first arrival in this country, they have made significant contributions to our country's social, economic, political, educational, artistic, scientific, and entertainment communities. Filipinos helped build this country's infrastructure, worked in our farms and plantations, fought valiantly in our nation's armed services, serve honorably in public office, and are now becoming staples in the entertainment community and sports community. From labor leaders, Larry Litliong, and yes, as well as Philip Vera Cruz, yes. to noted writer Carlos Bulao-Sun, yeah. to our own former city clerk that we honored just a few weeks ago, June Lagme. Oh, yes. Filipinos have made their mark throughout this nation's history. Today, Hi-Fi remains as the cultural heart of the Filipino American community in Los Angeles. <laughs> Many important Filipino churches and nonprofit community organizations call Hi-Fi their home. Uh, I just want to just take a moment to again talk about the tragedy of Typhoon Yolanda, which occurred, hit landfall November 8th of last year. Uh, heading into the, the one-year anniversary this fall, we'll be organizing a fundraiser to be held somewhere in the 13th District because we cannot forget that over 6,000 people lost their lives and another 1,000 are still unaccounted for. I would now like to introduce our, my friend, our friend, Consulate General of the Philippines, Leo M. Herrera Lim, to say a few words. Thank you, Thank you Mitch. It's, I'm deeply honored to represent both my country and my community here. Mr. Labonge, you're also a friend of the Philippines and all the councilmen. We don't mind Friday the 13th. We get our best support from District 13. That's right. Uh, <laughs> lucky for me. And we're honored to share the day with Mr. Waxman and Johnny Rivers, proud sons and talents of LA, home to the most Filipinos. We share, we share this day with the proud sons of Los Angeles, and we're thankful that you honor the First Republic of Asia and pretty much the biggest community here in Los Angeles. An elected official told me Saturday that there are, there are two kinds of immigrants in California, Filipinos 
and those who want to be Filipinos. I think it's a tribute to our community here. They, they pretty much driven the awareness on our people and our values. And pretty much that's why we're recognized, because we share a lot of values with America. That's why we found Los Angeles a welcoming home. Our people are faith-centered, education-oriented, and pretty much value their families and their neighborhood. They contribute to their neighborhood. And pretty much they're looking for a voice in this council. They want their issues also to be heard in this council. So I hope you don't mind if I regularly appear in the council. It's from what I've attended this morning, it's very amusing, very entertaining, and I would not be bored in a council like this. So thank you very much for the honor you've given our community and our nation today. And now I'd li like to introduce Linda Granados, uh, president of La Face, to say a few words, our city employees. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. Council President Wesson. Hi. Honorable council members, Council General Herrera Lim, distinguished friends, La Face board, members, and friends. For the last seven years, the LA City Council has bestowed upon La Face the single honor of standing in solidarity with our motherland, the Philippines, to celebrate the 116th year of Philippine independence. To express our gratitude, please accept those gift of medallions from the Philippine Independence Coordinating Council of Southern California. Thank you. I'd like to thank Council Member Mitch O'Farrell of CD13, representing historic Filipino town, for sponsoring this event. Today's event provides opportunity to connect not only with our second and third generation of Filipino Americans, but also with, our, with other of our fellow Americans. Lastly, please join us in a luncheon celebration located at the forecourt. May God bless America and the Philippines. Mabuhay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You just announced food. That means this meeting will be adjourned pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, therefore, colleagues, I would like to present this resolution signed by the entire Los Angeles City Council, Mayor, and representing the Mayor, we have Orion Carpio, another friend of the Philippine community. <laughs> City Attorney, uh, and controller to Consulate General General Herrera Lim and Linda Granado, Granados as we commemorate June 12th, 2014 as the 116th day of the independence anniversary of the Philippines. Very good, and we have some council members as you okay. give them that Very commendation. Good. Big hand for the <laughs> Filipino community of Los Angeles. Well, look, we're going back Mr. Sadia, Mr. Sadia. You know, I think it's important to acknowledge the uh, Filipino community, and I've been very fortunate to have great Filipino staff work for me. And I have two of them who are currently working for me, and uh, there's been many more. But on the floor here with me, after 20 years of city service, uh, our planner, uh, a great graduate from UCLA, Gerald Gubatan. Thank you. And the first hire that I made when I uh, became an assembly member back in 1998, I hired a, a young man from David Roberti's office, another UCLA graduate, uh, Mal Iloman. And Mal is well known. And Mal brought us the uh, Filipino Veterans Bill, which was signed by Governor Gray Davis. The state of California is the only state that has honored its commitment and acknowledgement of Filipino veterans who fought side by side with us. Uh, losing thousands, tens of thousands of young men. We made a commitment to uh, make sure that we took care of them after the war, World War II, and this country has failed to do that. We finally acknowledge that contribution with this state. The state of California is the only state that gives benefits to Filipino veterans uh, to continue to honor and thank them for their commitment 
uh, to our country and to the world at that time. And so I think it was very important to acknowledge both of them. And thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much, Mr. Sidio. Mr. Weezar. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President, Mabuhai, and it's great uh, to see many of my friends out here today. Thank you to LaFace, who continues to represent Philippine Americans uh, who work here in the city of Los Angeles very, very well. And uh, Mitch, uh, thank you so much. As always, you are a great representative uh, for historic Filipino town. Uh, it's interesting to note, uh, as I was listening to our council members speak up here, uh, uh, Mr. O'Farrell, about the many contributions that Filipino Americans have made to this great country. Uh, and uh, I have the honor of representing Eagle Rock in a portion of Glasgow Park where a number of Filipinos live. And uh, if you think of the national contributions, but even at the local level with Eagle Rock, historic Filipino town, Glasgow Park, the contributions, activism, flavor, and good food that you bring to the restaurants, yeah. uh, it's just uh, great to see. And so the, uh, I consider Filipino Americans, uh, my brothers and sisters, as we did in the United Farm Worker Movement as well. So, um, Mabuhai, thank you. And at Eagle Rock City Hall, a few years ago, we put a memorial in honor of the Filipino American veterans who fought in World War II for this great country. And it's a great to see that, uh, that we recognize those veterans there at Eagle Rock City Hall. Some we should, uh, uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, it's a great thing to see out there at that city hall. Thank you so much. Have a great day on this Independence Day. Thank you. Thank you. And Eddie Angeles right there, the head of Makati Sister City, Makati Los Angeles Sister Cities. Salamat. Yeah, we're going back to take some pictures. Okay. Right back this way.